So students, last day we were studying about distance and displacement. So today we are going to the main topic. I am going to tell you about a uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Last day I told you what is the motion. Whenever a particular object, the position of that particular object is changing with regard to time. That means after a particular time, you are seeing an object in a different position. That is the position is changing. Then we can say that particular object is in motion. Now today we are going to study two typical films. One is what we call the uniform motion. Uniform motion means if a particular object is having equal distance in equal interval of time. Means if you are seeing a particular object is moving in a specific way. That means it is covering equal distance in equal interval of time. Means in a particular time we know that the, the particular object is moving in a particular speed. It is not changing. Means the distance covered is the same every time. Means for example you can say like this. In 5 minutes if one object is moving for 1 kilometer and after 5 minutes again you can see this object is moving further 1 more kilometer and after 5 minutes again if the particular thing is moving again 1 1 kilometer each then we can say that particular object is in uniform motion if it is not like that means in 5 minutes if one particular vehicle imagine that a car in 5 minutes it is moving 1 kilometer and in the next 5 minutes it is moving 2 kilometers and after 5 minutes it is moving half kilometer away that means sometimes the speed is changing means you can see the distance is changing with regard to time and that typical type of motion is what we call a non-uniform motion uniform means the word uniform means same everywhere it should be same so if it is covering the equal distance in equal time we can say it is in uniform motion and if it is not traveling if it is not covering equal distance in a particular time then we can say it is in a non-uniform motion. The new things which we are going to study today is speed and velocity. You are very familiar with the word speed. When you are seeing a bus moving in a, in a hurry way, you will say it is going in a tremendous speed. Sometimes you will show that bike he is going in a tremendous speed. His speed is very high. What do you mean by the speed? Speed means the distance covered by an object in a particular time. In a particular time, for example, see, in 5 minutes, in 5 minutes, if you can run uh, half kilometer, 500 meters in 5 minutes, and another guy, another fellow, he can run 1 kilometer in 5 minutes, then we will say that fellow is having more speed. The second person is having a more speed. Why? He covered a lot of distance in a given time. That means how much distance you are covering in a given specific time is what we represent as speed. So normally we can say speed is equal to distance. The distance traveled by time table. How much distance you are traveling in a particular specific given time? That is what we call speed. And the unit of speed is normally, you know, the SI unit of distance is meter and the SI unit of time is second. So we will say meter per second. That is the unit of speed. Whereas it is also called, it says scalar quantity. So the meaning of scalar means if you want to if you want to describe about a particular thing, and if you, you have to describe it only using the magnitude alone, means you are describing about some something. For example, see uh, how much rice do you have in that basket? So we can say five kilograms, five kilograms of rice. I'm having in this basket. What does it mean? That means in that answer of 5 kilogram, the whole thing is included. Means there is no need to ask further, right? Everything is clear inside that one. So that particular things which we need to explain only by using its magnitude is what we call a scalar quantity. If you want to describe a particular thing and you can describe only by using the magnitude alone, then we can say it is a scalar. So here speed, we can say speed is a scalar quantity. Because if you are saying a particular bus is going 60 km per hour, what does it mean? In one hour, it is traveling 60 km. That is the meaning of that one. So 60 km per hour, that is enough. You can understand from that one. But let us go to the next term, which is called the velocity. The difference is because plenty of students are confused regarding speed and velocity. The difference between speed and velocity is this much. 
speed need not want to be mentioned about the, the direction that it is going. For example, you are saying a bus is having 60 km per hour. That's it. That's the speed of the bus. But if you are saying a bus is going in 60 km per hour in towards the north, means if you are specifically if you are saying the direction also, वो कौन सा दिशा में जा रहा है? खाली उसका क्वांटिटी नहीं है कि 60 km per hour में वो जा रहा है कहते नहीं खास करके कौन सा दिशा में जा रहा है? If you are speaking about the direction where it is going, that particular thing is what we call the velocity. So normally we can say velocity is also called distance by time itself. But the difference is velocity we can say velocity is the distance travelled in a particular direction. Distance travelled in a particular direction in the specific time means distance travels towards the north or distance travels towards the south or distance travel towards the east like that if you are specifying the direction also along with the particular magnitude that is what we call the, uh, the velocity so velocity also it is having the same unit it is meter per second there are two typical terms one is what we call the uniform velocity and non-uniform velocity just like told about this uniform motion and non-uniform motion here also same thing if the velocity is not changing means if the velocity is changing regularly with the time along with the time the velocity also is changing in the same amount how much time is changing in the same time if the velocity is also changing then we can say it is going to, it, that particular object is traveling in a uniform velocity if it is not then we will say it is a non-uniform velocity clear next topic average velocity if you are taking two or three particular instance means a particular bus is traveling from A to B for example from point A to point B it was traveling in 3 km per hour and from point B to point C it is traveling 2 km per hour so at this time what happened? different different velocity speeds even though it is traveling from A to C from A to B it was traveling in a particular velocity and from B to C it was traveling in another velocity at this particular time if you want to find the total velocity, that means the average velocity, at the time what you will do? Initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2. That means initial means the starting velocity. Normally we will write it as, we will represent the initial velocity as u and the final velocity as v divided by 2. This is the general formula for finding the average velocity. Initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2. That totally you can understand what is the average velocity. Next term is what we call the acceleration. I told you what is velocity, right? So regarding this one, let me come to the next point. What is acceleration? Acceleration means if there is a change in velocity. Means if, so see, I told you what is velocity. If something is moving in a particular direction, if something is moving in a particular direction, that is what we call velocity. Something is having a speed and it is moving. It is moving. If something is moving, there is speed. So if something is moving with a particular speed in a particular direction, that is what we call the velocity. And if this direction is changing, if this direction is changing again and again, for example, you can see the movement of uh, the clock or a wristwatch, the movements of the hands of the clock. And then you can see, see the clock will be moving like the hands will be moving typically like this, right? Even though it is traveling equal distance, even though it is traveling, just imagine about the seconds hand, it is traveling, just imagine that this is the seconds hand, it is traveling like this, it is going on like this. Even though if it is traveling like this, in equal interval of time, it is changing the, it is changing the direction, right? If you have, imagine about the earth moving around the sun, even though it is going in a constant velocity, it is going in a constant velocity, but after a particular time, it is changing the positions, it is changing the directions. So whenever, if something is moving in a particular velocity and the direction is also changing, then we can say that is what we call acceleration. That means the change in velocity by time. That is what we call the acceleration. So what is speed and what is velocity and what is acceleration? They, three of them are interlinked together, but there are small, small difference. Speed means normally we can say the distance covered by time taken. That is speed. And if this distance covered is in a particular direction, if you specify the direction, that is what we call velocity. And if it is going in a particular velocity, and along with this velocity, if it is changing the directions, and that is what we call acceleration. 
Normally people say there is a positive acceleration and there is a negative acceleration. This positive acceleration is normally which we are saying acceleration. Acceleration. In simple terms we can say it is acceleration. But negative acceleration is what we call retardation or deceleration. These are the two typical terms. It means we can say it as retardation or we can say it is as deceleration. Deceleration means for example if you are applying a brakes of a moving car. When a car is moving, it is going in acceleration, right? Acceleration means moving forward, 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 forward. And when you are applying the brakes of a car, what happens? It decelerates. It retards. It comes back. Means the speed comes down. When something is coming down, when the velocity is decreasing, that is what we call deceleration. Even though the unit is same. Here we can say the unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Because already we know the unit of velocity is meter per second. And that meters per second again divided by time, it comes meter per second square. That is the unit of acceleration. So there are two different types of acceleration. One is uniform acceleration, what is non-uniform acceleration. Same like that. If the acceleration, for example, if a car is moving in a highway, at a particular speed, in a particular velocity, it is moving in a highway. It means 60 km per hour, somebody is driving a vehicle. So we can say it is in a uniform acceleration. But imagine this same car. If it is going in a through inside a busy market, if the same car, if it is going inside a busy market, what happens? Normally, the driver has to apply brakes again and again. Whenever somebody is coming here and there, in front of the uh, means uh, in front of this car, and when people are coming, he has to apply the brakes. At that time, he is not, he cannot maintain the particular speed. So that particular time is what we call the non-uniform acceleration. Clear? So these are the important.